Disclaimer. The documentary shown on this channel is for a public interest and newsworthy matters. These incidents are closed cases. Everything reported is from, at the time, factually available public records and sources such as online under fair use. Non-exempt records from courts, prisons, or public and are for documentary purposes only. I want to make it clear, I have no opinion and do not judge suspects, victims, and their lifestyles. Look at it as a way to memorialize and be a voice for the voiceless. Welcome or welcome back to Barrio Tales. Today's video will be about a gang-related murder in Compton. On March 29th, 2006, at noon, Thomas Escobedo was driving westbound on Lucian Street in Compton. As Escobedo approached the four-way stop at the intersection of Arambi Avenue, he saw Jonathan Juarez approaching the intersection, driving a green car northbound on Arambi. Juarez had a single passenger, an African-American male, sitting in the front passenger seat. Escobedo yielded the right of way to Juarez at the intersection. After Juarez drove through the intersection, Escobedo turned right on Arambi, behind Juarez's car, and parked on Arambi. Juarez stopped his car in the middle of the street, 40 to 50 feet in front of Escobedo. A man named David Calistro, whose moniker is C-Note, was walking on the sidewalk northbound in front of Juarez's car. Juarez exited his car with a gun in his hand. He approached Calistro, who was unarmed and did not turn around to see Juarez. When Juarez was 15 to 20 feet behind Calistro, Juarez began firing his gun at Calistro, who fell forward to the ground. Juarez walked up to Calistro, fired three to five more gunshots at Calistro, who was on the ground in a prone position. Juarez walked back to his car and drove away from the scene. Within a few minutes, a white blazer pulled up to Calistro. A man got out, approached Calistro, and took a small, dark object from him. Escobedo, who had watched those events from his parked car, called the 911 operator and reported the incident. When deputies arrived, they found Calistro, supine on the sidewalk, bleeding from gunshot wounds. The fire department arrived soon after that. Calistro was taken to the hospital and was pronounced dead at 12.30 p.m. shortly after arrival. His blood contained trace amounts of meth. A medical examination showed that Calistro suffered four through and through gunshot wounds to his back and torso, along with one that grazed his right thigh. At least one of the former wounds would have been fatal as it injured organs including his aorta and stomach. Approximately 10 bullet casings were found on the street near the body. When Escobedo was interviewed by a sheriff's deputy later that afternoon, he was unable to identify anyone in a photographic lineup as being the shooter. At that time, the investigation had not identified Juarez as a potential suspect. Approximately five months later, when Juarez's photograph was included in a six-pack photo spread, Escobedo identified Juarez as the shooter. Escobedo had seen Juarez's face at the intersection, and when Juarez walked back to the green car after the shooting, Escobedo also saw the side of Juarez's face when he stepped out of the car. What caused this murder to happen had gone down like this. Earlier in the day, Jonathan Juarez and David Armanderas talked to Calistro from their car. Juarez was in the driver's seat and Armanderas was in the passenger seat. Calistro mentioned he was from a tagger crew called KAK. The KAK tagging crew was the lower echelon of the Tortilla Flats gang. Jonathan Juarez and David Armanderas are from the Locos 13 gang in Compton. Inherent in Locos 13 culture was its members' hatred for members of Tortilla Flats. David Calistro had a KAK tattoo on his ankle. The shooting occurred in Locos 13 territory. It can be assumed that because a member of the KAK Tagger crew who's connected to Tortilla Flats and was in Compton Vario Locos 13 territory, Juarez and Armanderas took that as disrespect. In the end, Compton Vario Locos 13 gang members Jonathan Juarez and David Armanderas were found guilty with the first degree murder of KAK Tagger David C. No Calistro in addition to gang and gun enhancements. Jonathan Juarez was sentenced to 80 years to life in prison. David Armanderas was sentenced to 85 years to life in prison.